Join me on the fourth annual homecoming and pilgrimage to Sierra Leone on December 28, 2021 through January 9, 2022. We will be exploring this beautiful country and eligible individuals will be receiving Sierra Leonean citizenship and passports. For more details, check out our website, sierraleonepilgrimage.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Go Ham Lifestyle Vlogs. Because we all need an Africa escape plan. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Insider. I am Ungil Zalalem, bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Malta. As always, immigrants are being mistreated and we are here to report about it. But the unfortunate thing is this time around, it's not even just being mistreated. It's about accusing them of being terrorists and possibly jailing them for life. And this is not just a small accusation. This can ruin this young man's life. They're teenagers for God's sake. They were just trying to escape their situation. I don't support people leaving Africa, but at the same time, I also understand why they do it because they see no hope. But to go all the way over there to risk their lives and be treated like terrorists and being tried and they don't even have evidence against them, that's saying something else. It's not just about them. This is not just about these teenagers. It is a political statement that they're trying to make for all Africans. Let me show you a little bit of the documentary that BBC did on this story. We'll come back and discuss. I'm not a terrorist. I cannot be a terrorist and I will never be a terrorist. The little English that I can speak put me in this big, big problem. Lamine was 15 on the day he almost drowned and the day he was accused of being a terrorist. Yes, the place that they disbarked us and it was a same place that they arrest me to the prison directly. Yeah, from here to the prison. He was one of more than a hundred migrants rescued by this oil tanker at sea as they attempted the treacherous crossing from Libya to Europe. But seconds after arriving in Malta, he and two other teenagers were handcuffed and led away, accused of hijacking the ship. What's it like to live being accused of being a terrorist by it the Maltese is, government? It, it is very, very, very hard for me. Very, very hard. It is eating me up whenever I think that they are calling me a terrorist. It's eating me up. I'm very, very, very confused. The teenagers say at first the captain tried to take them back to Libya, the very place they were fleeing. People panicked and protested. Eventually, he agreed to take them to Malta. But when they arrived, he claimed he wasn't in control of his ship. But Lamine says this wasn't true. The captain invited him, Abdul and Abdallah into his cabin to make a plan as Lamine was the only one who spoke English. Why will I hijack the ship? Why? Captain was in full control of the ship. We tried contacting the captain, but he wouldn't speak to us. So instead, we've tracked down some of the others he rescued. And they tell us the three teenagers calmed the situation down and saved their lives. Les trois personnes là, de la manière ils nous ont sauvés, de la manière ils sont partis pour le capitaine, pour qu'on ne touche même pas, pour qu'on même on ne gâte rien même sur le bateau. Personne n'était témoin. Tous les médias, tous les juges qui sont en train de les pertiquiner aujourd'hui, personne n'était témoin là-bas, seul Dieu avec nous. Mais nos paroles est à côté, puisque Près de 100 et quelques personnes ont détruit trois personnes, vie de trois personnes. Ça me fait mal. Each month, the trio are summoned to court. The authorities are still collecting evidence. 
it could be years before they face trial. So far we haven't seen evidence. As you saw, these young men are facing a trial, an accusation that is so silly. If they were trying to hijack that ship, they should have guns, they should have knives, they should have tools that can help them achieve that. These young men were just trying to escape their countries, trying to find a better life. That's all they did. That's their crime, if anything. They're not terrorists. Obviously, you can tell that they're not terrorists. But I guess Malta is trying to make a statement to other Africans that are thinking about fleeing their countries to go there. They're telling them indirectly, this is what you're going to face. That's really unfortunate. But at the same time, what do you do? It's our own people that are leaving their countries. And how do you stop that? Because this is illegal. They're not fleeing their countries legally. So at the end of the day, most of them will die in the Mediterranean Sea. The ones that escape that and survive will go and be mistreated, will go and face racism, will go and face the trials that these young men are facing. There's no win-win in this situation. I just hope and pray the African youth decide not to flee, instead to stand up for their rights and stand up to these bad leaders and make a change. That's what I hope for our people. Anyways, guys, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this story. Do you think these young men are terrorists or do you think Malta politicians are doing this on purpose? I am Ungel Zalal. I'm bringing you this report. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <music> Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app, now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.